In our previous video, we learned that there are three ingredients that are required in order for fraud to occur in a business. Of these three ingredients, there is only one that businesses really have control over, opportunity. It's the business's responsibility to ensure that employees and outsiders don't have an opportunity to steal or misrepresent the business. It does this by creating and implementing something called internal controls. Internal controls are the rules, processes, and procedures that a business creates to protect its assets and ensure the accuracy of its financial information. There are many different kinds of internal controls depending on the area of the business you are working in. Let's look at the purchasing process, for example. When a company makes purchases, they want to protect their cash and ensure that their employees are not making personal or otherwise unnecessary purchases using the company funds. To protect against that, many businesses use a purchase ordering system that requires approval from management before purchases can be made. Businesses also make many purchases using checks, because the process of writing checks allows more people to be involved in the purchasing process, whereas cash or debit cards can be accessed and used by only one person. Splitting up the tasks, like check writing, across multiple people is known as segregation of duties, and is one of the simplest and most common internal controls used to reduce fraud risk. There are four essential functions in the check writing process, for example, that can be segregated and assigned to different people. Preparing the check, signing the check, recording the purchase in the accounting system, and reconciling the check purchase with bank records. Ideally, all four of these tasks would be assigned to different people. However, this isn't always possible in a small business. If at least one of these four tasks can be assigned to a different person, the opportunity for fraud is reduced considerably. Another simple control that many businesses use is mandatory vacations for any staff working with finances or money. Statistically, many employees that commit fraud choose never to take vacations. It looks like they are dedicated loyal employees or maybe just workaholics, but the truth is they are afraid someone will discover their fraud if they aren't there to keep it going. In fact, many times fraud is discovered when the employee finally does leave the office for a while. So requiring employees to take vacations can help a company prevent, or at least discover, a fraud scheme. Those are a few examples of controls for purchasing. Receiving also has similar controls. When a company receives money from customers, they want to ensure that an employee doesn't just keep the money for themselves. Once again, the segregation of duties helps prevent this kind of fraud in the receiving side too. Some tasks that can be segregated and assigned to other employees include receiving the cash, recording the receipt, making the deposit, and reconciling the deposit with bank records. These are not always easy to split up among many employees, but again, if at least one of these steps can be given to another employee, the opportunity for fraud is reduced. Another way to help reduce fraud on the receiving side is to get your customers involved. Have you ever noticed at some stores there is a sign at the register that says if you don't get a receipt, your product is free? The receipt from the register forces the employee to properly record the receipt of cash instead of just putting it in their pocket and pretending the sale didn't take place. Many stores also have a screen showing the transaction to the customers so that the customers can watch the sale being recorded to ensure that it is recorded correctly. By showing the customer the transaction and encouraging them to demand a receipt, the company is keeping their employees honest. After the cash is received, companies ensure that it is locked up with limited access and deposited each night so that the cash is not sitting around and available to employees. These are just a few examples of the many internal controls that businesses create to protect their assets and ensure financial accuracy. The more these are followed, the less opportunity for fraud will exist. To learn more about fraud, internal controls, and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.